Hello, my beautiful MK Love Fam, and welcome back to another weekly angel guidance. Now, if this is your first time watching, my name is Melanie Kate Love. I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday, helping you to learn to love yourself, trust your intuition, and manifest your heart's true desires. Now, if you want to join the beautiful MK Love Fam, which I highly recommend that you do, make sure you hit subscribe and turn on that bell so you're notified every single time I upload a video. So, this beautiful series of weekly angel guidance guidance is live every single Sunday. Now this is just a general reading, so just take from this what feels best for you. So this week, we're starting the week out in the first quarter of the moon, which is our action stage, which means I take inspired action and I allow it to flow with ease. So that's going to be coming in from Monday. Then from Thursday, we move into the Gibbous Moon, which is asking us to trust. So I trust the process as everything is always working out for me. So that is the flow of the week. So I'm so excited to see what is going to come up for you today. I'm going to be using the Angel Tarot from Darian Virtue. So without further ado, let's just see what we need to know from this week. I hope you had, oh, I hope you guys had an amazing week. And um, yeah, let's see what we need to know. All right, angels, what am I, whoa. First card is, woo, we got the eight of fire. So there's loads going on, but what color do you see first? color do you see first because that is going to correspond with the chakra in which you need to work on it says events moving at a fast pace delays are over many things happening at once now this is interesting because the first quarter of the moon is the action stage of the moon so this totally makes sense so you've got lots going on but you need to focus on instead of doing so many different things focus on the thing that is the most important to you so I know you're starting a brand new chapter and I know things are hectic, believe me. I can feel it because I know that I am probably moving very, very shortly. I probably will be moving either this week or next week. So I'm trying to pack a house and, you know, find somewhere to live and all that goodness that goes with it. So what comes up for you when you see this one here? Have a look. Can you see that the, the ocean is quite turbulent behind, but these ones here are planted on the ground, which is like fertile soil. There's lots of greenery all the way around. So I feel like this is really beautiful. I feel like this is a beautiful new chapter. The eight represents abundance. Fire is passion. So there's lots of, this could be like, you could be working towards your career. This could be, I don't know, passion could be like family, whatever works truly best for you. That's beautiful. That card fell out really, really fast, by the way. All right, angels, what do, what else do we need to know? Clarity on eight of fire. Whoa. Let me pull this one, then the other one came up too. The next card is, whoo, we got the hermit card again. Okay. This is interesting because the hermit card basically means this is an opportunity for you to go within. So you need to meditate because things are really crazy and you're getting a little bit like swept off your feet. So. Spend some time in meditation. How does meditation look like for you? Is it the traditional laying down on the floor, eyes closed, blanket over you, hands up, facing up to the ceiling, going, um, ram, lamb. What do you do? Do you, I don't know. What does meditation look like for you? Your angels are saying you need to go within because when you go within, the answers to everything you ever possibly want are going to be found there. The other card that came up is, whoo, the three of water. Celebrate good times, come on. Da -da 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 okay, celebration. So this is the need to have more fun. So yeah, things are crazy. You're like, ah, I don't know what to do. But you're in a beautiful new chapter. You are heavenly supported. You need to go within to find these answers. But at the same time, you need to have more fun. Because when you have more fun, you vibrate on the frequency of love and that's where all of your hopes and desires literally come from. When you're vibrating in like level 21 in fear and depression, you are so far away from what you want. So you need to do things that make you feel good. 
you haven't already, download my free self-love starter kit because in that I teach you three simple strategies on how to raise your vibration. I have a mindset audio that's 15 minutes. I have a five minute guided meditation and a self-love practices workbook. That, they, those three are all free and they won't be free for much longer because I'm going to be getting rid of them and only giving them to my private coaching clients. So if this is something that you need help with, I highly recommend that you get to it. I feel like I'm talking so fast today. Maybe it's just because this energy is crazy. All right, let's get another card for, maybe one more card to summarize the action stage and then we'll move on to the other face. Oh, there, there it is. Who justice. So this is all about finding balance. The justice is kind of like your moral compass. It says fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right and stand up for your belief. So you can be assertive, but you don't need to be aggressive. Um, this could do with legal matters. This could be you literally finding your balance. This is you making decisions from a place of love and not scarcity and not the ego. This is, I don't know, what do you see? What do you see when you see this card here? He's got his sword. It's like, yeah, it's like, I'm ready to stand up for myself. But what I want at the end of the day is love, peace and harmony. I want to find my balance. I am learning to find my balance. Two major arcana cards. This reading is like all over the shop. So there's a lot going on, so you need to meditate and you need to have a lot more fun. And from that, that's when you're going to find your balance. Ooh, that's interesting. All right, let's see what else we need to know for the give us moods. This is all about the trusting phase now. Let's get another four cards. What else do we need to know, angels? What do we need to know? energies now there it is oh gosh the wheel holy flip the wheel can go two ways you can go forwards or back you choose whenever I see the wheel it reminds me of Carrie Underwood's song a time of positive change a situation suddenly moves forward fortune is on your side so I think the fortune is going to move forward once you find your balance and you're going to find the balance from meditating, having more fun, because that's where the balance comes from. There's a lot of things going on. And once you master those ones, then there's going to be a lot of positive things that are going to be coming, which makes sense because we're in this new moon and Aries phase. All right. What else? Whoa. What else do we need to know? Angels? Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Thanks so much. Okay. Seven of water. This is the emotions. What color do you see? Pick a color, any color. Because that's going to correspond with the chakra that you need help with. Ooh, a complex decision. The need to do research. Stop procrastinating. The need to do research. Okay. So a situation moves forward. I would like clarity on that one. A lot going on this week. Oh my goodness. So events are moving fast. Delays are over. So what you're going to do to help that is to spend time in meditation. Do your self-love practices. And from that, you're going to start to find your balance because things aren't going to be like lopsided. Things are going to be a lot more equal. Then once you find your balance, things are going to move in a positive direction. But you need to do research. Those cards kind of contradict themselves though. So things are moving forward, but maybe things, maybe this change is coming, but you need to make a decision. There's two things to do with decisions here. One says, the justice says fair and just decision. Do what you know is right. But it says it's a complex decision, what you're, what you're working on. The need to do research, stop procrastinating. And I feel like once you do that, that's when things are going to move in a positive direction. So you really need to do a lot of meditation this week. 
All right, what else do we need to know about this week, angels? What else do we need to know for this week? So this is, did I even tell you what this week is? Oh my goodness, this is April the 23rd to the 29th. Oh my gosh, so sorry. All right, it's this one. Ooh, wow, the four of earth, okay. What do you see when you see this card here? Whenever I see this card, I don't feel good about it initially. It says being too frivolous or too cautious with money or abundance in whatever form. Good business decisions, giving to those less fortunate. Ooh. So she has a lot, but she's not giving. And when you like money or any abundance is energy. So if you give it freely, you're going to get it back in return. But some of you are just holding it too close, like it's literally chained to her. Then I heard that song by Katy Perry, um, Chained to the Rhythm. I don't know. That's all I heard was just Chained to the Rhythm. That's a really interesting song too. I'll put that in the description. Four of Earth. So she's a beautiful angel, but she's not like, she doesn't seem happy. Like she's got a lot, but she doesn't feel happy. And it's like, you think of like Ellen DeGeneres, when she gives, it makes her feel amazing. You think of Oprah, when she gives things to people, it makes her feel amazing. When you give someone like a birthday present, it makes you feel amazing. It doesn't matter what their reaction is. It no, you feel that you've made the right decision. So I feel like you need to give before you can receive. Mm, which is interesting because we're not in the giving stage of the moon phase, but maybe that's why you're at a complex decision because you don't know. Maybe you need to try something first. It doesn't, you're not gonna get it wrong. Everything that you do is a lesson. So maybe you need to try something. You're being too cautious. Maybe you're playing it safe. Maybe you need to step out of your comfort zone. Oh, maybe that hit a lot for you. Let me just close my eyes and just see if I can hear anything else. I just see like just giving. It could be your time, it could be your money, it could be your energy. It could just be like I don't know what makes you feel good if you're giving to other people. You could just be like, hey, I'm gonna make you dinner this week. Come over for dinner. Whoa. Ooh, the ten of earth, the ten of air, the end of a difficult situation. I love this card. Every time I hear this, see this card, it reminds me of that Craig David song. I'm walking away from the troubles in my life. I'm walking away. Oh, and find a better day. It says the end of a difficult situation. Embrace the change. Expect things to get better now. Recovering from an addiction. I think that's all we need from this week. You know, you're leaving things that no longer serve your highest good because you have found what sets your soul on fire. And that's what you need to focus on. So I've given you eight cards this week. I wanna give you maybe, maybe two more, but I wanna give it to you from a separate deck. Because this is out of my comfort zone because it's just like anything new it takes time to master a new chapter. So. This is the Shadowscapes Tarot. I can't remember who made this, but I'll have to find out. All right, angels, can we have clarity on Eight of Fire, the Hermit, Three of Water, Justice, the Wheel, Seven of Water, Four of Earth, and Ten of Air. Oh my gosh, there's a lot. What do we need to know that came out super quick? Okay, we got the Six of Swords. Is it that way? Yeah. So that's interesting because the crows represent like the negative thoughts and she's been taken on a beautiful swan um, away from all the craziness. That's beautiful. It's like you're not allowing any negativity to sway you on your path. Maybe there are people in your life that don't support where you are, you know? 
could be a reflection of their own self-hate and insecurities. They'd be like, oh, why is she doing that, you know? But just know deep within your soul, as you meditate and you become the hermit, you go within, you find the answers, and you know deep within your soul that what you are doing is in alignment with your true authentic self. It makes you feel amazing. So just follow that bliss. What else do we need to know? I just love the sound of this shuffle. Like, listen to this. Oh, there it is. Hold on. Oh my goodness, it's the Two of Pentacles, which is balancing. I feel like this is balancing this abundance that is coming in, which is basically what the Justice card is. We've got two lots of balancing. He's balancing this new chapter, but he's so happy. He's very confident because he even has like a leg up. There's like a monkey here with a butterfly on its nose. Like this is a beautiful, I feel like that's the end of this week. The Two of Pentacles, which is the Abundance card. Because you're being too frivolous before, so if you're holding things too quiet to your chest and you have resistance in your vibration, when you give from a place of love, that's when you're going to start finding this balance that you have been searching for. We've got two cards to do with balance, a lot to do with decision making this week, an end of this difficult situation. And within these 10 cards, we've got three major arcana, justice. No, we've got two, sorry. No, we've got three. The hermit card, which is meditating. The justice card, which is about finding your balance. Do what you know is right. And the wheel card. So. Things are gonna be changing for you. You're finishing the end of this difficult situation. You're walking away from what doesn't serve you. Maybe what doesn't serve you could be your thoughts because this one here represents your thoughts. Those crows there are your thoughts. So it, those thoughts could also be influencing from other people around you. Maybe they're not supporting your chapter. You know, but don't take advice from people that don't have the results that you want. Are you taking advice from people that are, are doing a job that doesn't, that you don't want to be a part of? Or don't take it, I always think of this, like I don't take advice from anyone. Well, I don't try to allow them to get to me, but sometimes I do. I take advice from people who have the results and the life that I wish to achieve and to manifest them into my reality. And yes, there's going to be times on this new chapter because you have to find your balance here. You know, you're navigating new waters, so to speak. But just know everything's working out. Spend time in meditation. You need to have more fun. You need to make your self-love a massive priority. You need to make a decision. And you need to give from a place of love because you're being too frivolous and too cautious with your decision. Maybe, I feel like you need to play big. You need to play big to win big. Um, yeah. Okay, maybe just one more. One more. One last card, angels. What, what else do we need to know? This is the last card for our reading from April the 23rd to the 29th. What else do we need to know? One final card, please. In five, four, well, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> oh shit, we got the death card. Yes, this is a beautiful card. It doesn't mean like somebody's dying. It could mean, but the death card is, I don't like the way that this traditional tarot is written. That's why I kind of go between my angel tarot and this one here. The death basically means rebirth. It's like you're ending a chapter. That's what this one said here, the end of a difficult situation. It's like you, whenever I see this one, it reminds me of that scene from Beauty and the Beast when the beast, when Belle has just kissed the beast and the last petal just dropped and it's like, and his hand gets, and the claws disappear and then this beautiful hand and it just, I'll just insert the scene right here. So that's what I see, my love. This is 
you're going through massive change. And in this massive change, how you can stay in alignment, meditate, do your self-love practices. Well, your self-love practices includes that meditation. When you do that and you're following your intuition, that's how you're going to find your balance in this brand new chapter. Don't worry about those people that are talking shit behind your back, you know, because there's always going to be people that are going to try and bring you down. That's why I listen to like my Spotify playlist that you can find me, um, hashtag M uh, MK love on Spotify. And I've got so many playlists. I've got an anthems, a dance party, a chilled one, a meditations one, a manifesting one. I have all these different ones that I listen to. And today I was listening to, well, I don't know what I was listening to. Actually, I was just listening to the Greatest Showman soundtrack because um, uh, that Million Dreams song, it's like, every, it's like people don't understand your vision, like especially that tightrope song too, because people don't understand where you're going, but you know that what you're doing is destined for greatness and you just have to find your balance. Find the balance of giving and receiving because you are start, you're becoming, you're about to become this beautiful butterfly. Some of you may be there. Some of you are, are making a slow transition. I feel like this new chapter, like I felt like last lunar cycle, we were putting all the, the support and structure in place. Now things are starting to take action and maybe some of you are actually seeing the results of what's happening in this new chapter. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting, my loves. Oh my gosh, please comment below and let me know what came up for you because I would absolutely love, love, love to hear from you. This is such an exciting time. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. All right, my love, yes. Beautiful week ahead, I'm so excited. Remember, we're starting the week out on Monday on the action stage, then we're moving into the trusting stage. Everything is working out for you. Surrender to the process, set yourself free, get into alignment, do your self-love practices, and it's all working out. Anyways, my love, I'll see you on Wednesday as a part of our new Law of Attraction series. And um, yeah, have an amazing week. I love you, I love you, I love you, and I'll chat to you in the comments. Goodbye!